It'd be nice if that was the coldest I had to fish in again this year. 44 degrees. I don't know what's on 92.9, so that don't, I don't recommend that channel because I don't even know what's on it. But anyways, today we're going fishing again. We're on the hunt for a 10 pounder. It is mid-March and the fish are moving shallow. So I'm trying to make every, take every opportunity I can to go catch me some bass. Because I know it's just a matter of time before I catch one of those giants. Um, the last, three of the last four times I've went, I've pretty much had a seven pounder bite. So, and one of those was a giant. So today, hopefully we can catch us a big one. I'm gonna try to throw a little bit bigger baits today, most likely. Probably try the A-Rig a little more. I caught two on it yesterday. Throw the A-Rig around a lot. That's supposed to be the, the recipe. Pre-spawn bass, A-Rig, Lake Chickamauga. That's the PB maker, ain't it? Y'all stay tuned, we'll catch us a giant today. Dude, that looks like a better fish. Oh. No, it's like 30 minutes. Small body level? Yeah. Is that a baby? Oh, Kyle's on. Kyle's on. In the thick current. Kyle is hooked up. Right behind that little wall right there. Oh, that's a nice one again. Oh, it doesn't get better than catching bass, guys. It doesn't. Boom. You want pictures in? No. Boom. We came with you all up. Good one, good one, good one. 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 Good
Oh, get in there! Whoa. Oh, that's a fatty, dude. Oh, yes, dude. Dude, that's a fatty. Oh my gosh, he ate so close to the boat. Like another six pounder. Oh my gosh! Look at how short it is too. Yeah. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? He <laughs> got <laughs> Heck of a snag! Look at that! So we're over here on the calm side now. Y'all can't tell, but out there it is pretty dang gnarly. But we're out here on Chickamauga. Like I said earlier this morning, that we are catching them up. Got BS fishing with me. He almost caught his PB today. And a lot of y'all probably know Sobe in the back. He's caught a ton of giants today as well. We are crushing them today. So. Hopefully we're going to catch us a couple more big ones, bust the 30 pound mark. We're real close right now, so y'all stay tuned. Endurance game. The way that I have to play is not that fun. Yeah. But sometimes it's in there and you don't play a hand at all for two or three hours. Really? Really? First cast. That's sick. That's sick, dude. Then we caught them all. Just hook up with there. Tennessee Smalley. Oh. Just like y'all Smalley, just skinnier. Yeah, that's a nice looking fish. Bait at man, where is that bait? Down the hatch, and that's all. And look at the tail behind that bait. Is the tail sticking out? Is oh, the crankbait in yeah. Tail? The crankbait in oh his tail. These fish here are stupid. Look how bad that thing is. Look at that tail down in there. He's got a 10 inch gizzard sand to half head first thing on his body. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oh, I was slow 
pulled a net job. I did not want to stab him off. <laughs> Give me some of that. Yes. yes. Show him. You guys are from the Midwest. You've seen some of the videos we've done with crappie fishing. You probably crappie fish yourself, and uh, you know a normal sized crappie is not this big right here. I know most of us dumb rednecks don't actually know what the two letters mean, but that is from Minnesota. Minnesota is not known at all for bass fishing, but these two dudes came all the way down here and freaking stomped on them. Oh. Yes, yeah, a heat wave. It was got up to 60 today. He caught his PB. He caught a six pounder, I caught a six pounder. We all catch a six pounders around here. Oh, what a freaking epic day. If y'all have not found this dude, his name is Sobe. He's behind a lot of the fishing videos y'all know and love, but you might not know it. This dude's up and coming. He just started, he is BS fishing. Check these two dudes out. We had an awesome day on the water and I'll see y'all tomorrow.